Dr. Park Jong-chol, I'm with the Hill Dental Clinic. Today, we are going to talk about how to retrieve failed implants and provide a retreatment. Let's have a look at an initial visit image. A 67-year-old female at number 36 and 37 implant sites, bone loss increased and inflammation developed. So she came to our clinic for treatment. The plan was to remove the implants and place two new implants. Inferior alveolar nerve was closed, therefore it would not be right to place another implant after removing the existing implant. So the plan was to remove the implant and build alveolar nerve using GBR and delayed implant placement will be performed. If necessary, more GBR will be performed at the time of the placement. If you look at the oral photo, the soft tissue contour is not very good. I'm not sure whether it was like that from the beginning or due to the peri-implantitis. Anyway, soft tissue contour is not very good, therefore soft tissue improvement should be included in the plan. First, the implants were all explanted. The vertical bone defect was severe, so GBR was done to recover it. non resolvable membrane needs to be used for the treatment to recover vertical deficiency. And I believe that is the right approach, but in this case, the soft tissue contour was not really good. So when a non resolvable membrane is used and if it is exposed, the result can be worse than not using the membrane at all. Thus, the use of non resolvable membrane was not considered. Resolvable membrane was selected. Therefore, Resolvable membrane would be fixated to increase wound stability. The membrane would be fixated and a GBR will be conducted. So resolvable membrane and AOS collagen were used for the grafting. As you can see, you see the bone tags and allograft and AOS collagen was used for the grafting. After that, this is about five months after grafting. Anyway, healing was properly progressing. As you can see, the scars, the scar tissues are abundant in the soft tissue and the keratinized tissue with is very narrow. It was necessary to make efforts to improve soft tissues when placing implants, we need to pay attention to the distance to the inferior alveolar nerve. The distance was very short, so the plan was to use a surgical guide for the placement. Number 36 implant has some safe distance from the inferior alveolar nerve, but number 37, it is very close to the inferior alveolar nerve. The safety zone is about 1.5 millimeters. When drilling for surgery, we can use a 1485 kit for safe drilling. So the plan was to place implants using 1485 kit. 1485 kit has drills like cast kit for sinus lift. The drill end is not pointed, it's flat, so safe drilling can be performed. The drill will not tear or touch the inferior alveolar nerve, so one for 85 kit is included in the plan. So the plan was to use a surgical guide and a one for 85 kit to place implants without raising a flap. Diagnosis using the guide indicated that there is no need to do more grafting, so flapless implant placement was planned, and after the placement, FGG will be 
performed later. Now let's check out implant placement video first.
This is the post of panorama radiograph. If you look at here, number 37 implant was very close to the inferior alveolar nerve. It is touching the nerve. The patient uh, complained of a slight pain. So I took the image and it was too close and the implant was rotated upward 360 degrees. So it was moved upward 1.5 to 1.8 millimeters upward. And another panorama was taken and now there is some distance to the inferior alveolar nerve and the patient felt the reduction of pain and we are concerned about numbness in this case. Fortunately, on the next day, we contacted the patient and the patient said that there is no numbness or nerve paralysis at, at all. So I realized the value of using 1485 kit drilling provided a very safe surgery close to the inferior alveolar nerve. About two months after implant placement, FGG was performed to secure keratinized tissue on the buccal side. As the bite was low, final prosthesis were not delivered. Now, temporary teeth are used. On the buccal side, some keratinized tissues were made, not much. And the patient can eat without discomfort. This concludes the case description and I'll come back with another case. Thank you.